Alright, hey, what's going on guys? My name is Richard. Welcome to a video where a bunch of my friends and I are going to tell you about how we got into Northwestern, what our process was like, and also what it was like to apply to college during COVID. We hope you guys enjoy and find this video useful. Let's do it. My name is Max. My name is Maya. My name is Nicole. My name is Shannon. My name is Kenyon Cole Suggs. Koda Suzuki. Julia. Johnny. I'm Cadence. My name is Richard. What is your major? Uh, political science. Political science and most likely computer science major. I am a journalism major, psychology and math level major, neuroscience. I'm a social policy and economics major. <laughs> I'm a radio, TV, and film major. Dual degree program in manufacturing design engineering and communication studies. What is your year? I'm a freshman. Freshman. I'm a freshman. Are you a legacy at the school? I'm not. No, I'm not. No. No. I'm a double legacy. Yep. <laughs> my dad went here for med school and my mom went here for undergrad. What was your GPA in high school? 4.8, 4.55 weighted, and then a 4.0 unweighted GPA. Weighted 4.84. 4.78. Uh, I did not have a GPA at my high school. My high school did not do GPAs. Huh? Around a 3.9 or a 4.0. Did you take the SAT or the ACT? SAT. I took the SAT. I took the SAT. ACT. I took both. I took both. Neither. Not getting a single test from me. Do you remember your score? 1390. The second time I scored a 1580, the first time I scored a 1510. I think my SAT was like 1400. 1560. I got a 35. I got a 36 on the ACT. On the SAT, it was a 1520, ACT 32. How many practice tests did you take? For the ACT, none. <laughs> You, did, you went up with no practice tests? No. Like 12 practice tests? Four practice tests? Two for each test. I took a lot of practice tests. I practiced basically all of the month leading up to my test. I went through a whole course actually, like a SAT training course. Did you report your score? I did. Yes. Yes. I did not. I did not. I did not report my score. How many AP slash IVs did you take in high school? It was either seven or eight. I took nine APs in high school. Five APs in total? I took eight APs. Seven APs? Eleven APs. So I'm an IV diploma graduate. I had a full IV schedule. What were your scores? I I only had one five the whole time. Most of them are fours. One three, two fours, three fives. Two fours and like five threes. Four fives, a couple fours, and then senior year, a couple threes. Uh, I got fives at all of them. Fives on everything. All fives except for physics, EM. That's tough. <laughs> yeah, that one's crazy. Did you play any sports in high school? I played soccer all four years. I was a swimmer all throughout high school. JV rugby, and I did track and field. Golf and dance. I was actually the captain of my school's dance team, so. <laughs> no, but I did ballet. I played badminton for one year, and then I quit. What extracurriculars other than sports were you involved in? I was the co-president of the investment club and we did a lot of like different investment games and like COVID fundraising. Model UN, political discussion club. I worked at a psych lab. I coached little kids with soccer. I was the head editor for the sports test speech and debate team. I was a novice coordinator on the team, so I did work preparing novices for tournaments. Secretary of Student Council, Secretary of National Honor Society. Board for my school's GSA. I ran the Red Cross student organization at my school. I did a lot of YouTube musical theater. I also was part of my school's vocal jazz ensemble. I did women's acapella. I also started a mental health initiative at our school. I worked at Joy Yee. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the boba shop. There's like six of them in Illinois. I worked in the one in Chinatown, Chicago. You should come. I'm sorry, not putting Joy in the middle of my video. I'm sorry. What was your college essay about? I was on the newspaper in high school and it was about the importance of representing everybody in our schools, like diverse opinions. The concept of storytelling. I wrote a lot of my about that. Interesting. Yeah, it's a good topic. My college essay was actually just really abstract about a car ride. My college essay was unsurprisingly about YouTube and my journey on how I got started. I found myself through, you know, doing YouTube and connecting with the community on YouTube and just sort of being able to entertain a lot of people over this platform. Uh, it was about mental health, basically, and the mental health struggles that I had throughout high school and how I not only I worked on myself, but I also kind of used what I went through to help others. My relationship with my father and like going from him being an addict 
apps and dad and like a building relationship and to us really connecting during quarantine and COVID. I grew up in Shanghai, Taipei, and Hong Kong. I talked about how living in those three places kind of shaped my interests and also like my identity. My Japanese American identity and how I feel like my Japanese identity clashed a lot with my American one until I felt secure enough to really be proud of who I am. Rat, how long did it take you to write your college essay? I'd say it took me about like two weeks to write my common app essay. A month. Two months? Three or four months. It took me a long time. I wrote about something else and hated it and got rid of it. So I probably started it like spring of junior year and didn't finish it till like the day before it was due. I went through so many different ideas and so many different topics. It probably took months of me trying to figure out what to actually write. Two days. One and a half hours revision process. Probably a total of like five hours. You wrote your whole college essay in six and a half hours. The yeah. Kind of, yeah. How many drafts did you write? Four. I had four drafts. Two drafts. Oh my god, like eight or nine. Three drafts maybe. It was kind of an ongoing process. My first draft was not good. <laughs> and then I had like three or four other drafts, yeah. Who read over your college essay? It was mainly my brother. My family. I had my mom read over it. Three friends. My theater director. I had my high school English teacher read over my essay and then my guidance counselor read over it. So how many schools did you apply to? I applied to Northwestern Early Decision, nine others early action. I applied to 10 schools because our school limited us to 10 colleges only. 13. I think 16. Uh, 17. 17 schools total. I applied to 8. 3 schools? 2 schools. Only Northwestern. <laughs> this is embarrassing, but I applied to 28 schools. Man. Not by choice. I was encouraged to apply to more schools because I was not doing anything during the COVID pandemic. How many IVs slash reaches were in this? I applied to two IVs and I had, I think, either three or four reaches on my list. Nine. Four that were sub 10 acceptance rate. I applied to five IVs. Northwestern was my reach school. Actually, wait, I do have another reach school, but I don't really count it. I applied to Georgetown, um, but... <laughs> That's not a reach <laughs> They don't have a journalism major. So then oh. when I got that rejection, it didn't matter. How many of your schools did you get into? I got into 11 schools. I was waitlisted to three and I did not get in. Six or seven, I think. Seven. Six schools total? Twelve, I think. Accepted by ten. I got into all the schools I wanted in. Did you do an interview for Northwestern? I did do an interview for Northwestern. I did. I did not. I did not. I was very bummed when I did not get an interview and I was like, I'm never getting into this school. <laughs> I did. I did do an interview. How did it go? Um, pretty well. It was actually my favorite interview. The interviewer was really approachable and I could tell that she was actually listening to the things I was saying because she was responding afterwards with her experiences pretty well. I thought that their questions were actually a lot more in-depth than other schools I had interviewed for. But I bombed it. Let's go! <laughs> yep. Everything I was talking about was about like environmental sustainability and agriculture and I forgot the word for farms. It went pretty well. What made you decide on my question? I wanted to do some theater in college and I liked that Northwestern's theater program is one of the top in the country, but you don't have to audition into it. Just the fact that it's the quarter system and you can take so many more courses. Next to Chicago is like really convenient. Northwestern was the school that I dreamed about for a very long time, but I didn't think that I would ever get in. The Medill School of Journalism was a dream for me. And that was the only journalism school I applied to, and I got in, so I really felt like it was fate. My dream of becoming a journalist really led me to Northwestern. What is the best part of Northwestern for you so far? The people. The people. This is gonna sound so cliche, but definitely the people here. I think really the friends that I've made here. They're definitely great people. Everyone comes from such like diverse backgrounds and coming from somewhere that doesn't have as much diversity, it's been really fun to get to know everybody. All of us want to help each other and work to the same goal and it's really collaborative. I would have if it was like a very non-competitive environment. But we're all here for each other and like we all do the work together so like it doesn't really feel like you're doing work. Because everyone's so motivated and enthusiastic like I've never been this active. There are literally events that you will find every single week. It's really, really easy to be able to engage with new people if you want to. And like, does your school bring you to Six Flags if you're not Northwestern? I don't think so. How do you think your process would have been different if COVID never happened? Honestly, like I think my process would have been a lot different if COVID never happened. I would have continued like traveling and competing. I wasn't able to tour any schools. I definitely would have toured. I definitely think I would have applied to a lot less schools. 
COVID made me do a lot of other extracurricular activities. I felt like I needed to do something with all the extra time I had. Um, I would have had to submit test scores. I don't know how that would have changed it. I really benefited from tests being canceled. Maybe without COVID, like I wouldn't have ended up applying to Northwestern in the first place. What do you wish you'd done differently in your college process? If any? Apply to less schools. Please do not apply to 28 schools. I wish I applied to more schools. I sort of wish I hadn't done ED. You wish you knew whether your other schools would have accepted yeah. it or not. Yeah, exactly. Just for the personal validation. Wait, for the personal validation. Oh. Aimed a little bit higher, just because I feel like... <laughs> Higher than Northwestern. Yeah. I think I doubted myself a lot. Like I would second guess all of my essays and everything that I wrote. Maybe if I had stuck to like a first draft, like that maybe would have done even better than like what I ended up submitting. That's such a Northwestern thing to say. <laughs> uh, I got into Northwestern, but, but I shot a little but... bit higher. I first and foremost would have started so much earlier. Like I can't stress that enough. Not procrastinated. I mean that's always a wish. I wish I would have obsessed a little less over it and not stressed too much about it. I wish I could have would have just trusted the process a little more and not spent so much time being anxious about things I couldn't control. What is your advice for high schoolers applying for college right now? Show interest in your schools. I'd say definitely start the process early, like if you have time, especially over the summer. Just even thinking about the essay topics a little bit earlier, I think that will really benefit you down the line. Everyone's different when it comes to writing essays, but like sometimes getting the right draft can take you a while. Think about how you can write a story with all of the extracurriculars that you've done. As long as you do the things that you're passionate about, first of all, that's gonna like reflect in your like college essays and make a really big difference for actually getting accepted into the school. Obviously put in effort, but don't like beat yourself up about it. Kind of like just trust yourself in the process and like you will end up in the place that's best for you and like you will have a lot of fun. Those months where you're applying and you're grinding out those essays, it feels like that point in your life is never gonna end. Before you know it, you'll actually be in college. Like I found myself stressing out so much winter break, especially over like getting supplementals in and applying when I forgot to just live senior year. Have good experiences with your friends because at the end of the day, like, that's what you'll remember. Everything's gonna be okay and you're gonna end up where you're meant to be. Alright, well anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video. We hope you guys have enjoyed and have found something useful out of this video. For all of you guys who are high schoolers who might be applying for college soon, we wish you the best of luck. That's gonna do it for today. See you guys next time. Bye! Bye.